Assalamualaikum. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to conduct a reliability analysis. Okay. So macam mana kita nak analyze reliability analysis? Okay. Kalau katakan soalan kita tu adalah contoh seperti yang saya tunjukkan sekarang. Okay. Contoh soalan student saya adalah berkenaan dengan travel website usefulness. Okay. Jadi kita nak tengok sama ada research Uh, soalan, I, or we call it as items, okay, whether these items are reliable or not, or whether they are set good as a set or not, okay. So, what my students use for this travel website usefulness is using these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 questions, or we call it 6 items, using scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree. Okay, so after the data has been collected, they will look something like this. Okay. Alright, so this is what uh, it in the column looks like. So the items is from 16 to 21. Okay, so how we're going to do is use analyze. Go to the scale reliability analysis. Okay, and pick the questions from here. You can use like this one by one, put it there. Oops, sorry, not this case. Okay, so string uh, items are not allowed to be in this set of questions. Okay, so you can put it, click, and put it there. All right. But in my case, I already put all of them together from 16 to 21. Okay, the questions from 16 to 21. And then I click statistics and I pick scale if item deleted. Okay, because we want to see what happens if we delete the item. What's going to happen to the whole set? Right, then click continue. Okay. Alright, so now we have our result. Okay, so you will look here in this table, this value, which is 0 0.919. Okay, this value indicates the reliability coefficient. Okay, convex cells first coefficient. Um, from 0 0.6 to 1, it means the items all are reliable. Okay, so uh, here we have four columns, but this one is the most important column. Okay, here. What happened here is it tells you what happens if we remove this item. What's going to happen to the whole set? Okay, so um, we have here one uh, 919, right? This is higher than 912. That means if we remove this item, the reliability will reduce. Okay, jadi maksudnya, we should retain these items. Okay, this happened. Maksudnya, everything here, if they are higher than 919, then that means that questions are... Maybe we should have removed them. Okay, but in this case, they are not. Okay, X. This, therefore, we're going to retain all the questions in the set. Okay. So, that's all. Right. That means if you have, um, there are certain questions that you will ask together as a set. Okay. So, in my students' questions, she are looking at, she's looking at travel website usefulness and she's using all these questions for these items. Okay, so in your case, if you have some set to test, they have to be tested all together. Okay, not not uh, testing the question one by one. They have to be together as a set. Then only you can use the reliability analysis. Okay, so you I expect you to have like a few um, Cronbach alpha analysis, Cronbach uh, alpha coefficient only. Like 3 to 4, okay? You will not have more than like 10, something like that. Because you don't have a lot of items to test. So, in your result, you have something like this. 
okay? You will copy paste that back the questions, all right? And you will copy the last column, put it, all right? Remember just now you have here nine one two eight nine nine eight nine 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 one six. So exactly that. Copy back inside, okay? You will like something like this, and don't forget the real nine one nine values combux alpha that you have from the main table that. You have just now here okay <laughs> then you will have explain a little bit table 4.2 this is how you interpret okay table 4.2 shows the reliability analysis for travel website usefulness, usefulness items based on the result of the reliability test indicates there zero point eight which is more than 0 0.6 and can be clear that the items are highly reliable to use for further analysis that's all okay so you can continue for the next uh, this next set uh, using your reliability analysis for SPSS okay that's all thank you for watching